In this presentation, you will find out how to generate functional cardiomyocytes from pluripotent stem cells in three simple steps using the GIBCO PSC Cardiomyocyte Differentiation Kit. Access to human cardiomyocytes has been historically challenging due to the scarcity of cardiac tissue. The use of PSC-derived cardiomyocytes has overcome this barrier by giving researchers not only the ability to produce cardiomyocytes at their convenience, but to offer, theoretically, unlimited access to patient cells, which opens up the possibility to model and understand human cardiac development, disease, and assist in the development of drugs, both for the detection of cardiac toxicity and providing a model to find drug novel drug targets. During the differentiation of PSCs to cardiomyocytes, pluripotent cells are coaxed toward a mesoderm and ultimately cardiac phase through various transcriptional cues shown here on the left. Current methods for producing cardiomyocytes from PSCs are summarized here. There are many challenges to reliably producing PSC-derived cardiomyocytes. Inconsistent results can be a symptom of embryoid body methods due to increased labor, such as replating steps, and variable reagents. Monolayer culture offers a seamless method from PSC culture to differentiation and is the preferred method for simplicity and efficiency. Introducing PSC Cardiomyocyte Differentiation Kit. This three-part kit of ready-to-use media differentiates PSCs to cardiomyocytes in 14 days in monolayer culture, with each medium used in succession as shown in the diagram at the top. From about 600,000 pluripotent stem cells produce 65 to 70 million contracting functional cardiomyocytes with a single kit. Resultant cardiomyocytes can be maintained in culture greater than 60 days with cardiomyocyte maintenance medium, which is also sold separately. Cardiomyocytes generated using GIBCO PSC Cardiomyocyte Differentiation Kit display the appropriate phenotypic markers as shown here via immunocytochemistry. On the left, cardiomyocytes generated using PSC cardiomyocyte differentiation kit and stained using human cardiomyocyte immunocytochemistry kit are stained for markers TNNT2 or troponin T cardiac marker and NKX2.5, a late developmental marker associated with cardiac development. On the right are sheets of cardiomyocytes at day 12 showing GATA4 and MEF2C, which are mid-stage developmental markers, and myosin heavy chain 1, 2, 4, and 8, which are markers of mature cardiomyocytes. As alluded to on the previous slide, a straightforward way to characterize PSC-derived cardiomyocytes is available from Thermo Fisher. The Human Cardiomyocyte Immunocytochemistry Kit enables optimal image-based analysis of two key cardiomyocyte markers, NKX 2.5 and TNNT2. It is the only kit that offers superior imaging for cardiomyocytes in one box, with a complete set of primary and secondary antibodies, a nuclear DNA stain, and all of the pre-made buffers for an optimized staining experiment. Here we show gene expression over time as PSCs are differentiated to cardiomyocytes using PSC cardiomyocyte differentiation kit. The day step, and marker are indicated in the top chart. TACMAN qPCR analysis of differentiated ESCs from time of induction day zero throughout day 30 is incorporated in the data. Relative gene expression for each time point is shown, normalized to day zero expression. Data is presented as relative fold change compared to day zero control samples. This shows expression of expected markers over time, which turn on and off throughout differentiation as expected. Here we show a comparison of cardiomyocytes differentiated using GIBCO PSC Cardiomyocyte Differentiation Kit versus other cell sources. On the left, a comparison is made between day 10 cardiomyocytes generated using the Thermo Fisher Kit versus a commercially available engineered PSC-derived cardiomyocyte denoted as EPSC in red. These data show equivalent expressions of samples of NKX 2.5, TNNT2, and myosin heavy chain 6. On the right, a comparison is made between day 10 cardiomyocytes generated using the Thermo Fisher kit versus fetal heart-derived cardiomyocytes, denoted as fetal heart in green. These data show higher expression of NKX 2.5, 
TNNT2, and myosin heavy chain 6 in cardiomyocytes generated using the Thermo Fisher kit. Here we show flow cytometry analysis used to measure efficiency of differentiation. Cells were tagged with fluorescent dye for TNNT2 and measured via flow cytometry in A, B, and C graphs. Graph D is a graphical representation of flow cytometry data, also showing effective seeding density of PSCs and that Geltrex and vitronectin are compatible substrates. The importance of seeding density between lines will be illustrated on the next slide. GIBCO PSC Differentiation Kit is capable of differentiating PSCs to cardiomyocytes across multiple PSC lines generated in various ways, as shown here where greater than 60% differentiation efficiency can be achieved across multiple lines. However, it is important to note that seeding density of PSCs and ultimately starting cell confluency when beginning differentiation is crucial for optimal PSC differentiation. Triple dissociated PSC lines were used for the study shown. In two cytotune derived lines, noted here as BS2 and BS3, BS2 IPSC was observed to be promiscuous at higher density, while differentiation of BS3 IPSC was optimal only at a specific density. For GIBCO episomal IPSC, noted here as GEPI IPSC, it was also found to be optimal at a specific density. For human ESCs, H9 was observed to be promiscuous at various densities. We recommend using a range-finding study when using a new PSC line. Instructions for such a study can be found in the product manual. Cardiomyocytes generated using GIBCO PSC cardiomyocyte differentiation kit are physiologically active and respond to cardioactive compounds, as shown here. When cardiomyocytes are exposed to verapamil, a calcium channel blocker, isoproteranol, a beta adrenergic receptor agonist, E4031, a Herg channel blocker, or propanolol, a beta adrenergic receptor agonist, results are as expected. Data here was generated using multi-electrode array. Here we show calcium activity in cardiomyocytes generated using PSC cardiomyocyte differentiation kit over 1.2 seconds at 30 frames per second. Cells were labeled using FLOW4NW calcium assay kit and imaged using EVOS FL Auto at 4X. As mentioned previously, one promise of PSC-derived cardiomyocyte models is the ability to model disease. To illustrate this, Thermo Fisher recently partnered with Stem Cell Theranostics. This slide shows the disease modeling workflow that was established at Stem Cell Theranostics. As a startup company, one of their first goals was to establish standardized SOPs, reagents, and processes that are consistent and reproducible. After obtaining samples of fibroblasts or blood from the Stanford Cardiovascular Institute Biobank, they expand those cells and then reprogram them to IPSCs using our Cytotune Sendai Virus Reprogramming Kit. The IPSCs are then expanded in essential eight medium and characterized for, for pluripotency markers using our antibodies. After confirming normal karyotype, banks of cells are then created using our PSC cryopreservation kit. To create the patient-derived cardiomyocytes that are critical for their work, they now routinely use our new PSC cardiomyocyte differentiation kit. Once beating cardiomyocytes are prepared, cells are assayed for detailed phenotypic analysis in order to look for phenotypes that are associated with the disease background. The hope is that, with the resulting cells, they will be able to identify small molecule drugs that can revert those phenotypes and that can be further explored for pharmaceutical development. In the next three slides, I will illustrate some of the physiological differences found in disease versus control cardiomyocytes, both of which were generated using the PSC cardiomyocyte differentiation kit. This next slide shows some of the first phenotypic differences that stem cell theranostics were able to see in one of their disease lines from samples harbored, harboring hypertrophic cardiac myopathy, or HCM, versus a healthy control. As you can see in the images, when the cells are stained with troponin T, shown as green fluorescence, and nuclear stain as blue, the HCM cardiomyocytes show a clear enlargement in the cell size as compared to control. When the data from the automated image analysis is plotted as shown in the graph on the right, we see a statistically significant increase in the size of the HCM-derived cells. 
This next slide shows that the cardiomyocytes derived from HCM patients using PSD cardiomyocyte differentiation kit display arrhythmic beating as measured using an axion multi-electrode array instrument. The top right panel shows one electrode measurement that is a representation of multiple electrodes in the MEA. The black traces show that the control cardiomyocytes have a consistent beat period, whereas the red trace for HCM cardiomyocytes shows significant variability in the, in the beat period. And as we plot this beat period over time and then calculate the CV, we can see very quantitatively that the fibroblast-derived HCMs show significant variability versus control cardiomyocytes. The DCM cardiomyocytes, another disease line derived from CD71 cells, also show a slightly more regular beat rate relative to the control line, but not nearly as striking. This slide shows differences between control and HCM cells as measured on a different platform in the form of calcium transients imaged using the FLOW4 calcium indicator. Again, these cells were generated using PSC cardiomyocyte differentiation kit. The plots show fluorescent intensity measured over time and normalized to a baseline. As you can see, there appear to be missed beats in the HCM-derived cardiomyocytes. In summary, PSC Cardiomyocyte Differentiation Kit is an easy-to-use three-part kit for generating cardiomyocytes from PSCs. Resultant cardiomyocytes express appropriate physiological markers, respond to cardioactive compounds, express similar physiological profiles versus commercially available iPSC-derived cells and fetal-derived cells, and can be used for disease modeling studies. The catalog number for the kit is A292-1201 and can be ordered on thermofisher.com. More information can be found at www.thermofisher.com slash cardiac diff. Thank you for attending this presentation at Thermo Fisher's 24 Hours of Stem Cells. Additional information can be acquired through the poster session or by going to one of the booths and asking a question.